And Joshua fell on his face to the earth and That's worshiped right. and said to him, What does my Lord say to his servant? Amen. 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 Men, show me, O oh God, say it. Show me, O oh God. How to be a husband. How to be a husband. By the supernatural. By the supernatural. How to be a father. How to be a father. By the supernatural. By the supernatural. Lions are jumping at my family. Lions are jumping at my family. And I need the power of God. And, and I need the power of God. All my sisters in the Lord, put your hand on your heart. Teach me how to be a wife. By the power of the supernatural. How to be a mother. By the power of the supernatural. You know, I believe homework is of the devil. <laughs> and I believe that every parent secretly believes that. And, and some teachers agree. Homework is one of the most disruptive things I've ever... I, I believe it's almost demonic the way that homework can tear a family apart. <laughs> Right? Yeah. Amen. Some mathematician that was bipolar invented that formula. Preach it out, man. This would give our stuff in my brain. Preach it out. And I'm going to have to help you till 3 o'clock in the morning. And you ain't never going to use this in your life. Is going to be in your life is right now. <laughs> you know what happens? You end up in a fight with your kids. Wouldn't you hit that? A fight. And you're dropping them off at school. And, and look at how the devil works. You and your kid are mad as you can be at each other. And they're about to get with their hoodlum friends waiting on the campus. And all they're going to do is get by the locker and start going, my, my parents are crazy. They don't know what they're doing. And you're sitting there saying, God, why didn't you give me this child? Why are you preaching, eh? Don't you just love those billionaire movie stars that hold a baby like it's a pet chihuahua? <laughs> I don't know why everyone complains about raising children. You want to strangle their scrawny, anorexic neck. <laughs> well, you got like five women working for you. <laughs> You've never even been near a doctor helping somebody. <laughs> Amen. Ruth Graham was on the Today Show. And if you ever thought of 
Did more sing Billy Graham? She said never. She said murder. <laughs> I was <laughs> <laughs> not divorced. That's what she wrote. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Somehow we, who are ministers, have got to tell you we're not the only ones that need a daily prayer life. Hallelujah. You need it. You need it. You need it. You need, it. You need, it. You need to turn your business over to God. Hallelujah. You need to pray and understand that your business is a ministry. Your farm is a ministry. Amen. The devil wants you to lose your farm. The devil wants you to lose your family. You have got to get nasty about this. Hey, glory. Come on. That's good. The real question that Joshua was asking the angel is this. Are you participating in the striving of man? My God. My God. My God. Tomorrow, what do you mean? What do I mean? You got two football teams going to face each other, and they're both praying for God to give them the victory. Where are you right now? Have you ever thought about that? That's right. We get in the locker room and I'm a chaplain. Lord, we pray today that we'll, we'll sack the quarterback, give him a concussion, and we'll win the game. But meanwhile, at the opposite side of the field, they're hearing the exact same prayer. Who's got God back? God's not for either of them. I'm sorry. <laughs> Neither. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I am praying for the Raiders. They need help. All the help they can get. I tried to, I tried to tell y'all. I tried to tell y'all. You know that's right. You know that's right. We, we need him. The nation have to have a lot of faith. Where the nation? Yes. I was driving through Oakland and the highway patrolman gave me a Raider ticket. Don't be a hater. Oh, <laughs> Boy, God. Oh, glory. That's good stuff, man. Woo! Go to Joshua chapter 6, verse 1. Hallelujah, hallelujah. My God. There's a glorious day coming for all of you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look at me right now. There is a glorious day coming for all of you. It is the day when the angel shows up. Hallelujah. And the angel showed up. And Joshua said, are you for us? Are you against us? He said, no. But as the commander of the army of God, I have come to take you out of human striving and to place you into the strategy of the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Once you find your place in the kingdom of God, you will never lack for money. You will never lack for souls. You will never lack for wisdom. You will never lack for anything. I receive it. The single mom that's in this room, the angel of the Lord is trying to arrive at your home. Hallelujah. The angel of the Lord is trying to arrive at your home, sister, and look at you and say, I know the feeling of dropping a child off at daycare and working for minimum wage and wondering how safe is my child today all day long. But the angel of the Lord walks in to the single mother's house and say, now God is taking over. Open your wings for the child and open the door and change her Nobody in the world needed a military strategy as urgently as Joshua did. The love has died between you and your wife. Seem like every day now, all you two can do is just sniff at each other. 
Hallelujah. You're both fantasizing. Sometimes I love George Strait's song. <laughs> called You Know Me Better Than That. <laughs> Talking about the new woman. She thinks I'm perfect and I love her cat. But you know me better than that. <laughs> Grass isn't greener. Right. Oh Put the new set of toothbrushes together. It won't be days before the same old, angry, vicious mistake starts to repeat itself. So God walks into the living room of a man and wife who don't believe they could ever have love for each other again. And he says, I've come as the commander Hmm. of the army of God Hallelujah. to bring love back where there was hate yeah. to bring hope where there was hate I need healing in my body man of God thank you Jesus thank you Jesus. I need healing oh thank you so let me take a moment Thank you, Jesus. And ask you if you've heard of my friend, the Holy Spirit. He's already in this room. Already at work. I rebuke disease in the name of Jesus. we pray for the sick and we will I want every one of you that are here to understand that the Holy Spirit like that angel with the drawn sword stands ready to prepare for you to receive your miracle right where you're seated a wonderful wonderful moment is happening in Jesus name 